The future of Florida's Greyhound racing tracks are a hot topic in Tallahassee this week. A constitutional amendment is gaining steam to let voters weigh in on a ballot amendment. The amendment, which has more hurdles to pass, would shut down Greyhound tracks. And our Carson Chambers is live in St. Pete right now. Carson, today you talked to people on both sides of this. Right, we did. And actually, Derby Lane is the oldest Greyhound racing track in Florida and in the country. But the state could give voters the right to decide if tracks like this stay open or close for good. They are very sensitive, sweet souls. They're the kind of dog Don Goldstein has fallen hard for. Boomer is actually the ninth Greyhound. This boy right here is actually the ninth Greyhound that we've adopted over those 25 years. A retired racing greyhound, one of four he takes care of right now. Goldstein runs a rescue group and advocates against an industry he considers not only cruel, but a waste of taxpayer money. As more and more people are educated about the industry itself and what goes on behind the curtain, that we think people are, are, are changing their attitude about it. Goldstein says a Senate study found Florida's Greyhound tracks cost the Sunshine State anywhere from one to three million dollars in losses a year and rely on attached gambling operations like card rooms to stay afloat. Now there's a push to let voters this November shutter the tracks and it's going strong. There's so much suffering in this industry. Uh, we have thousands of greyhounds, as many as 8,000 greyhounds, enduring lives of confinement at these tracks. But shutting down tracks 18 in Florida would put thousands out of jobs, according to industry advocates. It is a, a bad proposal. It could cost over 3,000 Florida jobs and put over 15,000 uh, beautiful greyhounds at risk. Two-thirds of the country's tracks are located in the Sunshine State. And if the amendment were to make this false ballot, voters could determine their future. If greyhound racing is eliminated in Florida, the industry will die. And that is what Don Goldstein is hoping for. An executive board in Tallahassee will vote on whether to put this amendment on the ballot in the spring. If it were to make the ballot in November of this year, it would take 60% of voters to pass and to close these tracks. We're live in Tampa. I'm Carson Chambers, ABC Action News.